Welcome back. Joining us virtually today is local CPA Jeremy Bork for our tax tips on this Monday. Jeremy, thank you so much for being here with us. Oh, happy to help. So, okay, I'm excited for this one because it's coming from TikTok. So you're responding to some TikTok advice and floating around on the interwebs. You're seeing business owners deducting vacations. All right, right. break this down for us. Yeah, and, and you know, the answer is, is maybe it's possible for sure. Um, but the, the videos that we were seeing just were really bad advice. Um, mm -hmm. Whether it was one was, hey, if you're on vacation, you know, you're taking a $100,000 trip to Japan, uh, post some pictures and post them to your business page, right? Yeah. Um, uh, you know, of you traveling or hire your wife, put her on payroll, and now it's a business meeting. Um, mm -hmm. But the issue that the IRS would have with that is that there was no business purpose for the trip or the location in those two um, examples. You know, you live with your wife, you can be with her at home, you know, um, or, you know, traveling is travel, not a business purpose, right? If you're just taking a picture of you at the airport, that's not really a business post or you didn't need to travel to actually make that post. Yeah. Um, so those are just some pretty vague, bad advices. Um, if you do want to you know, deduct a portion of your travel or vacation, um, it, you need business purpose to do so. Remember, okay. the IRS deems things as ordinary and necessary for your business, and if it's necessary, it would have some business purpose. So say you're traveling to Florida, uh, you know, is there an education event there that you plan on attending? Um, do, if, you, if it is you and your wife are having a business meeting, then um, you, know, you need to detail and explain why that's out of your own home or your own city, you know, whether it's getting away and not thinking about where the business is at and you know, yeah. trying to do that. That's business purpose. However, you know, just having her there doesn't mean it's a business expense. Yeah, and I'm sure with, with everything, I feel like we talk about businesses should be documenting these and yes. have a detailed list of why they're going where. And should they document too on social media? Yeah, absolutely. It should, probably should document there, their calendars, right? Some meeting notes, receipts with some details of, you know, a meeting that was either with, you know, um, an employee, a vendor, a customer, or even just you're going there to look at a new investment yeah. or uh, anything like that to do a business purpose. Well, Jeremy, I love that we tackled this today. If our friends at home have any questions for you, how can they find you? You can give us a call, 337-362-5005, or email me at jeremy at jporkcpa.com. Jeremy, as always, thank you for joining us each and every Monday. If you at home, if you want to learn more, head to our website, kdn.com. But let's check in with Adam Olivier.